Imagine sitting down to enjoy a perfectly grilled steak, savoring each bite without a second thought. But what if that seemingly innocent indulgence was quietly taking a toll on your lungs? That's right. While red meat is often associated with heart health or cancer risks, few people realize the hidden impact it can have on your respiratory system. From increased inflammation to a higher risk of developing chronic respiratory diseases, your favorite cuts of meat might be doing more harm than good to your lungs. So before you take another bite, let's dive into the surprising ways red meat consumption could affect your breathing and why making some changes to your diet might be the key to healthier lungs and a longer life. When we think about the foods we eat and how they affect our health, our minds often jump to issues like weight management, heart disease, or even cancer. Rarely do we consider how our diet could impact our lungs. Yet, mounting evidence suggests that red meat, particularly in high amounts, may play a significant role in respiratory health. From its inflammatory properties to the way it interacts with your body's immune defenses, red meat could be contributing to the slow decline of your lung function over time. One of the primary concerns with red meat consumption is its ability to promote inflammation throughout the body. Red meat, especially processed varieties, contains compounds like advanced glycation end products and nitrites, which are known to trigger inflammatory responses. Chronic inflammation is a key factor in many respiratory diseases, including COPD and asthma. Over time, this constant state of inflammation can damage the delicate tissues of the lungs, making it harder to breathe and leaving your respiratory system more vulnerable to infections. Additionally, studies have shown a troubling link between red meat consumption and the risk of developing COPD. Research indicates that for every small increase in processed red meat intake, the risk of COPD rises significantly. The mechanisms behind this association aren't entirely clear, but scientists suspect that nitrites, commonly used as preservatives in processed meats, may play a major role. When consumed, nitrites can generate reactive nitrogen species, which cause oxidative stress and inflammation in the lungs. This not only damages the airways, but also impairs lung function over time. But it's not just about processed red meat. Unprocessed red meat can also take a toll on your respiratory system. A diet heavy in red meat has been linked to reduced lung capacity and a decline in overall respiratory health. The high saturated fat content in red meat may interfere with the body's ability to manage oxidative stress, further exacerbating lung damage. Moreover, individuals who consume red meat frequently may also tend to have diets low in fruits, vegetables, and other nutrient-rich foods, which are crucial for maintaining healthy lung function. This imbalance leaves the lungs without the antioxidants they need to fight off free radicals and repair damaged tissues. The connection between diet and respiratory health doesn't stop at red meat. Emerging research highlights the role of dietary patterns in overall lung function, showing that people who follow a Western diet, high in red and processed meats, refined grains, and sugary foods, tend to have worse lung function compared to those who follow a Mediterranean-style diet. The Mediterranean diet is rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins like fish and poultry. This provides anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits that support the respiratory system. What's particularly alarming is how red meat consumption can amplify risks for those already vulnerable to respiratory issues. For instance, individuals with asthma, or COPD, may find their symptoms worsened by a diet high in red meat. The increased inflammation and oxidative stress can lead to more frequent flare-ups, reduced lung function, and even hospitalizations. For heavy smokers or those exposed to other environmental lung irritants, red meat could compound the damage, further increasing the risk of life-threatening conditions like lung cancer or acute respiratory distress syndrome. While the risks associated with red meat consumption are concerning, it's not all doom and gloom. The good news is that making even small changes to your diet can have a significant impact on your respiratory health. Reducing or eliminating red meat from your meals and replacing it with healthier, lung-friendly alternatives can help lower inflammation, improve lung function, and protect you from chronic respiratory diseases. A more focused diet on lean proteins or even a Mediterranean-style approach offers a wealth of benefits for your lungs. Foods rich in antioxidants like leafy greens, colorful fruits, nuts, and seeds help combat oxidative stress and reduce inflammation in the airways. These antioxidants work to neutralize harmful free radicals that can damage lung tissue and exacerbate respiratory conditions. 
For example, vitamin C from citrus fruits and beta-carotene from carrots and sweet potatoes have been shown to support lung health and protect against environmental irritants. Legumes such as lentils, chickpeas, and black beans are excellent sources of plant-based protein that don't come with the inflammatory baggage of red meat. These foods are high in fiber, which has been linked to better lung function and a lower risk of developing chronic respiratory diseases. They're also packed with essential nutrients like magnesium, which can help relax the muscles around the airways and improve breathing. If you're not ready to cut out meat entirely, consider swapping red meat for healthier options like poultry or fish. Studies have shown that poultry consumption is associated with a reduced risk of lung cancer, likely due to its lower fat content and lack of harmful compounds like nitrites. Similarly, fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which have powerful anti-inflammatory properties. These healthy fats can help reduce airway inflammation and improve lung function over time. Another critical step is paying attention to how your food is prepared. High heat cooking methods like grilling or frying can produce harmful compounds that contribute to inflammation and oxidative stress. Instead, opt for gentler cooking methods like steaming, baking, or poaching to preserve the nutritional quality of your meals and minimize the production of harmful byproducts. Hydration also plays a vital role in maintaining healthy lungs. Drinking plenty of water helps keep mucus in the airways thin, making it easier for your lungs to clear out irritants and pathogens. Herbal teas such as green tea or ginger tea can also provide additional antioxidants and anti-inflammatory benefits. Making these dietary changes doesn't just protect your lungs, it can also improve your overall quality of life. Many people who reduce their red meat intake report feeling more energetic, experiencing fewer respiratory symptoms, and even sleeping better. By nourishing your body with foods that support your respiratory system, you're setting yourself up for better health and longevity. Finally, it's important to acknowledge that diet is just one piece of the puzzle when it comes to lung health. Avoiding smoking and exposure to air pollution, staying physically active, and managing stress are all critical components of a comprehensive approach to protecting your respiratory system. However, the role of diet should not be underestimated. What you put on your plate every day can either fuel inflammation or fight it. While the occasional indulgence in red meat might seem harmless, the evidence shows that regular consumption could be silently undermining your lung health. By choosing to prioritize nutrient-dense anti-inflammatory foods, you can take control of your respiratory well-being and reduce your risk of serious conditions like COPD, asthma, and even lung cancer. So, the next time you're planning a meal, think about how your choices could affect your ability to breathe deeply and live fully. Because when it comes to your lungs, every bite matters. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.